Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning everyone. Okay, my name is Subayah Muhammad Kaiswad bin Khalid and uh, today I will present uh, for the PSR 256 uh, uh, body control for the topic local authorities administrative. Uh, the video is uh, prepared for me but uh, secular to every class eh, for the this topic. Okay, so we go through for the this topic is a local authority administrative administrative. Okay, so the topic for uh, uh, for this topic, eh? so uh, we have the learning outcomes. Eh? Eh? We study what is the local authorities, their function of the local authorities, eh? and their organization under local authorities. So first we go to the first topic, eh? learning outcomes eh, the learning outcome eh, at the end of these lectures and eh, the student should be able to describe eh, describe for what describe to how what is the local authority and its their functions eh, and at the point eh, the, the student can responsibility and jurisdiction of the local authorities and then the organization structure of the local authority in Malaysia so you know the organization eh, uh, patu pecahan dalam local authority tu sendiri eh? Eh, ada berapa banyak eh, so that is the learning outcome for this topic so we go through for the next topic is the local authority what is the local authorities eh, the local authorities or the local government is the lowest level in the hierarchy of the government in Malaysia after federal and state eh, tu kita kena tahu the position of the local government in Malaysia is state in the federal constitution. Apa-apa pun dia kena refer kepada federal constitution ataupun betul ada daftar di bawah federal constitution. There are currently 149 local authorities eh, in Malaysia eh, consisting of the 12 cities hall councils, 39 municipal councils, eh, 98 district councils, eh, Masjid Daerah eh, and five specials and modified local authorities and so that is in kita boleh tengok dekat figure one in figure one eh, top of the local authorities government eh, so dah ada pecahan kat situ city rural special and modified local authorities municipality eh, so kat situ pecahan ya eh. eh, type of the local government in Malaysia eh. so they have city kat sini eh, apa tu si majlis bandaraya lah ataupun city hall di dewan bandaraya eh. so ada 12 Eh, apa-apa siti-siti besar ni kita di bawah dia eh, so contoh sebagai Kuala Lumpur, Kuching, Kota Kinabalu, Alustar, Shah Alam, Petaling Jaya, eh, Miri dan lain-lain for the rural, rural pula is district council lah, majlis daerah eh, macam dekat Sri Iskandar ni, majlis daerah Sri Iskandar eh, dan lain-lain ok, special and modified local authorities eh, corporation development authorities, eh, five so ada pecahan kat situ, ada Labuan, eh, Putrajaya, South East Johor Municipal Authorities, eh, kat area Pasir Gudang tu kan, eh, Pulim High Tax and Human Development Authority at Pahang. So, di bawah Special Manifest, Modified Local Authority. Eh. So, under bawah ni Municipalities, eh, they have 39, eh, Madi Perbandaran, eh, dia ada Kanga, Manjung, Taiping, Yuintan eh, dan lain-lain. Eh. Okay. Oh tadi saya betulkan balik, eh, Madi Perak Tengah ni dari bawah perpanjaran kan? Eh, Alright, so kat sini ada pecahan eh, Batu Pahat, Keluang dan lain-lain. Eh, so di bawah tanggungjawab municipal eh, municipality eh. So that is the, di bawah itu, one, categories. Categories of the local authorities eh. Apa yang dikatakan kategori local authorities, the category of the local authority is the defined broadly by the criteria state in figure 2 in the term population size and annual lease. Eh, so, kena under, eh, kita kena highlight sini uh, sesuatu uh, council tu kalau dia nak upgrade eh, pada municipal kepada city, eh, dia akan tengok kepada population and annual revenues. Eh, for example, eh, for district council, eh, local authorities is rural area the criteria stipulate eh, from the district council city is having total population not exceeding 150k people eh, and annual revenue less than 20 millions eh, 
Kalau dia nak upgrade kepada municipal, eh, dia kena lebih ataupun kena sekurang-kurangnya 150. Eh. So, the local authority in urban town center will have the total population exceeding 150,000 person people and annual revenue exceeding 20 million. Maksudnya dia punya keuntungan setahunan ni adalah 20 juta untuk daripada district ke municipal. So, dia punya income dengan dia population mesti lebih. Eh. Baru dia boleh upgrade daripada district kepada municipal. Eh. Okay, so daripada municipal council to upgrade to the city council, eh, apa yang dia punya kriteria yang perlu di uh, identify. Eh. First, kita kena tahu city council ni local authority which has been upgrade from the municipal council status after having successful, say, successfully achieved certain criteria which include the total population exceeding 500 million people, eh, 500, okay people and annual revenue exceeding eh, 100 millions. Eh. Okay, so itu yang dikategorikan city council. So kalau Amman Sipol nak upgrade kepada city, dia kena 500,000 people eh, population-nya ataupun uh, in, atau bukan 500,000 uh, uh, people and income dia adalah 100,000 eh, 100 million eh, per year. Eh, itu yang dikatakan category of the local authorities. We go through the another topic, function of the local authority. What is the function of local authority? Is the obligation function can be generally categorized into the five main section. First is public, amenities, enforcement and license grant, public health and hygiene, and cleaning and waste management, social services, development and environmental issues. And that is the function yang kita kena tahu eh. dan di bawah tu adalah local authorities are responsible for the provision extensive grain of the public service in the respective area. These are typical broken down into the following broad categories. First is housing, second planning, third roads, uh, fourth development incentive and control, another is a environmental protection including uh, river takes, uh, rivers, takes, lakes, air and noise. Another point is the uh, recreation facilities and amenities. In addition to the function outlined above, a fundamental role of the democratically elected local government is the representative of the local communities, voicing local concern and responsible to the local needs. Yeah. So that is the function of the uh, local authorities. So at the pecahan lima di bawah ini, yeah, first is the berkaitan dengan local authorities and housing and local authorities for the housing ni dia punya function is a uh, provide and maintain the housing in their in their areas and they assess the housing needs for the area and build buy and lease the dwelling any improvement of the renovation of dwelling should obtain permission from the local authority of the area before they can be process apa-apa berkaitan yang kerusan pelan nak buat development plan semua kat situ lah yeah. okay renovation pun semua kat situ yeah. And then for the local authorities for recreation and facility amenities, apa yang difunction di highlight di sini adalah uh, the local authorities provide amenities, facilities and services related to the artistic and cultural activities, sport and games, general recreation and leisure activities, libraries, civic improvements, monument, environmental and heritage protection and public use of the amenities. Eh, itu di bawah kategori, bawah di bawah local authorities and recreation facilities and amenities. Di bawah local authorities uh, and planning. Eh? Of course, uh, the local authorities play a role as the planning authorities. Eh? They decide whether the grant refuse planning permission for the building and development in the area. So, the planning to the, the kita, we have function to uh, create the mastermind plan eh, for the areas. Eh? Apa yang dikategorikan uh, based on uh, master plans to the, the category and which uh, uh, developer uh, this area, this area. Eh? So, dia dah ada dia punya area-area yang dip, diperuntukkan ataupun di, dihaskan so, untuk pada industrial, commercial dan perumahan. So, kat situ dia akan highlight. Eh? It's also create development plan every six years which set out the planning policies. So, that is the di bawah planning. Okay, so di bawah local authority and agential services. Eh? Local authorities provide essential services such as a road and bridge, fire services and drainage. 
However, in Malaysia, Indah Water Consulting IWK is responsible for the wastewater services. Local authorities also control dangerous places and their building, avatars and knackeries and provide and maintain graveyard and burial ground. And so, itu dah di bawah uh, local authority essential services. Di bawah local authorities and environmental protection, eh, di sini di highlightkan bahawa the local authority has an important function in uh, relation to the pollution control and animal control issue license for the waste disposal and for emission into the air from the plant it's collect and areas for the collection of domestic and other waste and it's monitor the environment for the sign pollution it's also issue license for the keeping dogs and license for the houses house within its area the local authority grant license to the street trader to allow them to sell goods on the street and to casual traders to the allow them to sell goods casual trading area designed by the city county town and broad councils okay so that is the function of the country so we go to the organization Apa yang organization is a major structure of the militias eh? local authority militias and local government are generally referred as to as the council madlis headed by the civil servant for the carries the title president yang dipertua and so when mana uh, Majlis they have their, their own yang dipertua for the rural district and municipalities and mayor Datuk Bandar for the cities after the, the local election were established in Malaysia in 1965. Local councillor has been appointed by the state. So what uh, saya di sini saya telah mendapat beberapa case tadi eh, uh, for the organisation structure in the local Malaysia yang saya highlight di sini adalah eh, uh, saya fokus pada Majlis Perbandaran Pulau Pinang Okay. And so dia banyak lah kat sini kita boleh tengok mana-mana satu Yang mana uh, MPP ataupun Mereka Pulau Pinang ni Up the President and Municipal Secretary and 24 Councillors And the President is appointed by the State Government For the two years terms of the office While the Councillor are appointed as newly one year per term And MPP was established on the December 15, 1976 under the Local Government Act 1976. Yeah. So, this is the punya organization chart. And yeah, not and again. Okay. So, kat sini kita boleh nampak eh, dia, dia punya yang paling atas adalah dia punya tops of the director ataupun resident is the yang dikutuk majlis. Yeah. So, they have dia punya orang kata Law unit ni adalah special punya ni lah eh, department internal audit unit development Co coordination unit dan di bawah uh, yang di Pertua Agong they have the municipal secretary eh di bawah municipal secretary ni they have the department of corporate department of the treasure department of properties valuation and management eh planning engineering buildings eh department of the municipal service health and licensing yang mana di bawah department ini Terbahagi pada tiga pula itu municipal service and eh, section of the public health and licensing. Eh. Kemudian ada juga department of the recreation, tourism and international relation. And then ada heritage, eh, building uh, commission eh, and then in enforcement. So yang mana setiap uh, department dia ada punya task masing-masing eh, sekiranya untuk approval untuk approve untuk plan atau renovation kita pergi ke building kalau ada untuk planning development yang baru kita kena pergi planning eh isu-isu berkaitan dengan engineering pergi ke engineering eh berkaitan uh, membandangkan dekat MPP ni ada uh, UNESCO punya building ataupun bangunan-bangunan sejarah jadi dia kena fokus pada Department of Heritage dan lain-lain eh ataupun enforcement ni untuk yang collect atau saman dan lain-lain okey itu saja for uh, our topic eh so Kalau ada apa-apa uh, persoalan, eh, boleh share direct uh, WhatsApp eh, kepada pensyarah masing-masing untuk BSR 256 Belting Control 1. Eh. Dan video ni kita, saya prepare for uh, for this topic, local authorities and ministries ni untuk semua kelas eh, dan topik-topik lain akan di prepare oleh pensyarah-pensyarah yang terlibat. Eh. Sekian terima kasih. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, dan se semoga Allah merahmati kamu semua. Okay. Assalamualaikum.